Hello, everybody. This is your host, Yoshi. We're doing another wake and bake. Get me a nice little J right here. Hope everybody's having a good time. I'm, uh, I want to say thank you to the uh, new subscribers over the past week. Um, hope you guys enjoy the content. Uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and stuff. Um, I like to do wake and bakes a lot. I got Tourette syndrome, and in the mornings I gotta smoke, and you know, in order to be able to uh, properly function. Uh, though my wake and bake videos at the moment tend to be pretty uh, political, due to the uh, massive amount of political stuff going on, it's uh, it's it's crazy. We got the, uh, you know, they got the coronavirus and Trump, uh, uh, and, uh, what, uh, recordings of, uh, Trump admitting that, uh, man, I just, I just watched a video about this and now it's, like, all escaping my mind. I'm sometimes horrible when it comes to talking. Uh, uh, Bob Woodward, uh, released a, uh, audio clip of Trump admitting that he knew that the uh, that uh, the, the coronavirus was pretty uh, severe uh, that it could cause a lot of deaths and stuff and yet he continually went around and said it was a hoax that the Democrats were lying or people were lying or whatever so Trump killed a bunch of people because if he wanted to, he could have had a totally different response, and a lot of people would have lived. And the fact that people still support him, even though he's been lying the entire time. Like, how many months has it been? Six, seven months of a pandemic with uh, what 200,000 people dead and uh, Trump knew and did nothing and I'm it's kind of annoying that this guy knew the entire time Bob Woodward and did not say anything until now until when it's close to the election time and something like this could help sway Trump supporters into not being Trump supporters. In my opinion, the guy should have come out with the information, like the moment Trump started saying stuff against what he had told him. That would have helped save a lot of lives as well. But when you're looking to write a really, uh, you know, a best-selling book you wanna wait until there's you know a bunch of shit going on so that your book will sell now the fact that Trump has been um, lying about it and there's some information about that it's going to get people to buy but this is less about him and more about Trump because again Trump has been caught in a lie and nothing's gonna happen because as it's been proven US presidents I mean pretty much for most governments the presidents or leaders whatever they want to be called can do whatever they want and nothing happens How can we be a nation of law and order when the when the uh, main representative of the government can break whatever law they want and get away with it? He's even uh, tried telling people to break the law and vote twice, 
Uh, he supported people breaking laws. And it's like, it, it, well, it proves that the President of the United States, the role of it, all of it, is nothing but a sham because nobody is doing anything to just to stop the President from abusing his authority. Now, people act like sitting presidents and stuff can't get arrested, but it has happened in the past. There's been U.S. presidents that have been arrested for breaking laws. Um, I know back in the colonial days, uh, what there was a U.S. president that got arrested for uh, drunk driving. It would be considered drunk driving nowadays, but he was drunk on his horse. And at that time, that kind of action was considered illegal. And the president allowed himself to be arrested. Nowadays, um, no, no cop, no, no authority figure would dare to arrest the president because people have more blind loyalty to a certain party or a certain person than they actually do about, you know, upholding any type of justice. I mean, the entire United States is basically one giant sham. <clears throat> Everybody's supposed to believe that the United States is this some amazing land that you can go to and you instantly become free and happy, but that is not the case whatsoever. The only people that get true happiness in the United States are those with wealth. Because when you have money in the United States, that means nothing applies to you. You, you get fined, eh, whatever. Just means you gotta throw a little bit of change somebody's way in order to uh, break some kind of law. If you're rich enough, you can even rape people and not go to jail because you could be somebody. It's, uh, it's, well, it's pretty disgusting actually because poor people are constantly punished while the wealthy people are, are rewarded for their behaviors. Which is just a problem of capitalism, which is a different video. I'm kind of getting off subject here. I was wanting to talk about Trump and all his BS. Um, like, okay, he admitted to rigging uh, the election by um, using uh, Louis DeJoy to shake up the post office and cause problems and nothing happens about that. Um, there is a few other things that he's basically admitted to and it's been proven uh, various crimes and nothing happens I mean, could impeach him again, could, I mean, something could be done in order to have the president removed. He could be arrested by the military police. Um, I mean, just because he's the military commander, does that mean that the military has to obey every single command? I mean, if the uh, military, if your leader does become corrupt or does, you know, do illegal things, they can be removed. But, as we know, the military and the National Guard will be siding with President Trump in the right wing once shit does truly hit the fan, uh, either before, during, or after the election. It's gonna get worse.
um, Trump supporters are not going to accept that uh, he uh, may lose if he does. Trump is not going to accept that he uh, loses if he does. And if he does win, the right wing will be more emboldened to uh, commit physical attacks against POCs and people on the left. And with the fact that cops, a lot of cops are uh, white nationalist gang members, or they just, you know, think they, you know, there, there are cops that are looking to kill black people and POCs. Um, there is a, a couple cops in a state close to here that uh, were fired over various racial remarks. It's known that uh, there are sheriff gangs. Um, there is a ex-cop who blew the whistle on some sheriff gangs in LA. Cops are known to, you know, uh, frame people in Baltimore. Cops were caught on body cam, uh, planting evidence. Cops are cops want to cause harm to people. They're not there to protect people, according to the Supreme Court. Cops have no duty to protect people unless there was previously established reason like um, cops were assigned to a person for um, to be watched or protected or whatever other than that a cop can watch somebody uh, beat and stab you to death and not have to do anything they don't even have to arrest the person and this was upheld by the Supreme Court Crazy, right? You know, taxpayer money is being funneled to these corrupt organizations, cops, for protection, yet they're not even required to protect you. What does that mean, though? I mean, if the people were paying to keep law and order and for protection are not required, to abide by the law and protect people that just means they're just a criminal orga organization that is state backed I mean if the sole justification for a cop being able to kill somebody is disobedience then that doesn't mean that means we don't live in a free society because the moment the cop says do something and you don't they cannot right kill you, and people will justify that by disobedience. Disobedience to who? Disobedience to the system. That's not a democracy, folks. That is a dictatorship. That's a fascist system. That is something other than actually people being free. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.